Earth, our home planet, is a world unlike any other. The third planet from the Sun, Earth is the only place in the known universe confirmed to host life. With a radius of 3,959 miles, Earth is the fifth largest planet in our solar system, and it's the only one known for sure to have liquid water on its surface. Earth is also unique in terms of monikers. Every other solar system planet was named for a Greek or Roman deity, but for at least a thousand years, some cultures have described our world using the Germanic word Earth, which means simply the ground. Earth is the only planet known to maintain life. Find out the origins of our home planet and some of the key ingredients that help make this blue speck in space a unique global ecosystem. Our dance around the sun. Earth orbits the sun once every 365.25 days. Since our calendar years have only 365 days, we add an extra leap day every four years to account for the difference. Though we can't feel it, Earth zooms through its orbit at an average velocity of 18.5 miles a second. During this circuit, our planet is an average of 93 million miles away from the Sun, a distance that takes light about 8 minutes to traverse. Astronomers define this distance as one astronomical unit. Oh, a measure that serves as a handy cosmic yardstick, Earth rotates on its axis every 23.9 hours, defining day and night for surface dwellers. This axis of rotation is tilted 23.4 degrees away from the plane of Earth's orbit around the Sun, giving us seasons. Whichever hemisphere is tilted closer to the Sun experiences summer, while the hemisphere tilted away gets winter. In the spring and fall, each hemisphere receives similar amounts of light. On two specific dates each year, called the equinoxes, both hemispheres get illuminated equally. Many layers, many features. About 4.5 billion years ago, gravity coaxed Earth to form from the gaseous, dusty disk that surrounded our young sun. Over time, Earth's interior, which is made mostly of silicate rocks and metals, differentiated into four layers. At the planet's heart lies the inner core, a solid sphere of iron and nickel that's 759 miles wide and as hot as 9,800 degrees Fahrenheit. The inner core is surrounded by the outer core, a 1,400 mile thick band of iron and nickel fluids. Beyond the outer core lies the mantle, a 1,800 mile thick layer of viscous molten rock on which Earth's outermost layer, the crust, rests. At the planet's heart lies the inner core, a solid sphere of iron and nickel that's 759 miles wide and as hot as 9,800 degrees Fahrenheit. The inner core is surrounded by the outer core, a 1,400 mile thick band of iron and nickel fluids. Beyond the outer core lies the mantle, a 1,800 mile thick layer of viscous molten rock on which Earth's outermost layer, the crust, rests. On land, the continental crust is an average of 19 miles thick, but the oceanic crust that forms the seafloor is thinner, about 3 miles thick, and denser. Like Venus and Mars, Earth has mountains, valleys, and volcanoes. But unlike its rocky siblings, almost 70% of Earth's surface is covered in oceans of liquid water that average 2.5 miles deep. These bodies of water contain 97% of Earth's volcanoes and the Mid-Ocean Ridge, a massive mountain range more than 40,000 miles long. Earth's crust and upper mantle are divided into massive plates that grind against each other in slow motion. As these plates collide, tear apart, or slide past each other, they give rise to our very active geology. Earthquakes rumble as these plates snag and slip past each other. Many volcanoes form as seafloor crust smashes into and slides beneath continental crust. When plates of continental crust collide, mountain ranges such as the Himalaya are pushed toward the skies, like Venus and Mars. Earth has mountains, valleys, and volcanoes. But unlike its rocky siblings, almost 70% of Earth's surface is covered in oceans of liquid water that average 2.5 miles deep. 
These bodies of water contain 97% of Earth's volcanoes and the Mid-Ocean Ridge, a massive mountain range more than 40,000 miles long. Earth's crust and upper mantle are divided into massive plates that grind against each other in slow motion. As these plates collide, tear apart, or slide past each other, they give rise to our very active geology. Earthquakes rumble as these plates snag and slip past each other. Many volcanoes form as seafloor crust smashes into and slides beneath continental crust. When plates of continental crust collide, mountain ranges such as the Himalaya are pushed toward the skies. We also enjoy protection from Earth's magnetic field generated by our planet's rotation and its iron-nickel core. This teardrop-shaped field shields Earth from high-energy particles launched at us from the Sun and elsewhere in the cosmos. Spaceship Earth Earth is the planet we have the best opportunity to understand in detail, helping us see how other rocky planets behave, even those orbiting distant stars. As a result, scientists are increasingly monitoring Earth from space. NASA alone has dozens of missions dedicated to solving our planet's mysteries. At the same time, telescopes are gazing outward to find other Earths. Thanks to instruments such as NASA's Kepler Space Telescope, astronomers have found more than 3,800 planets orbiting other stars, some of which are about the size of Earth, and a handful of which orbit in the zones around their stars that are just the right temperature to be potentially habitable. Other missions, such as the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, are poised to find even more.